We head to Schott's Home Emporium in Melbourne to check in with absolute legend of our screens and self-proclaimed renovation rookie, Deborah Hutton, and our resident design queen, Natalie Bowen, for some tips and tricks you can use in your own home. Now, this is definitely one of my favourite areas because I a fireplace, to me, is like the central part of any room, particularly a living area. It's a must-have. Yeah, and every house I've ever been in or apartment, I have to have one, even if I put a stud wall in yep. and, and put something in there and it doesn't even, it doesn't even have a flue. I no. need to have a fireplace. I need sort of the warmth in the room. Absolutely. And look, this is the most beautiful place to come to look and have a good feel of yeah. all these beautiful hand-carved stone. So we've got granite, we have marble, we've got Carrara marble, just the most beautiful, elegant fireplaces. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I suppose it also depends on if you've really got a lovely sort of Victorian house, as a lot of these would fit in. Yeah. Um, but you've also, there's different takes on it. I mean, that one's quite retro. Yeah. And you've got That's quite right. ornate. What do you choose personally? Have a look at the character of the home. So if you're going more contemporary, something a little bit more clean lined yeah, and yeah. square is better. Yeah. If it's more sort of Hamptons, then of course you can afford to go a bit more squirrely. Yeah. Um, if you're looking at more of a French provincial English, again more layering and you'll see some gorgeous hand carved pieces here mm. that really add all of those incredible elements. Mm. For me, a mantelpiece is just, a, again, an extra layer. So we're talking bedrooms, we're talking living rooms, dining rooms. Where there is a spare wall, you put a mantel. <laughs> Even if you don't have a flue like we were talking about, yeah. put a couple of beautiful big candles. candles so yeah. again, it still gives you the element. Put a big, beautiful mirror on the wall yeah. next to them, layer them with yeah, lamps. Yeah, which is true. Divine. Even if you live in Queensland, because a lot of people don't oh. have fireplaces up there, yeah. I, I don't think it should stop you. I no. think it, it's just having that wonderful focal point of yeah, the room. Yeah, absolutely. And do not ever put a television above it. That's mm. a personal thing. Oh, that's thing. very, very opinionated. Yes, it yes. is. I just, because I just think Controversial. It's, well, okay. <laughs> but I just look at them and I think there's so many beautiful things or a painting or, a, or, a, or yes. some image and candles and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Absolutely. And if you want to have a TV, they put it somewhere else. Because what you, I think you do is you take away from the beauty of the mantle. Yes. You are right. A beautiful print would look divine on oh, that. Absolutely. Or a mirror. <laughs> beautiful. Exactly. Practicality is yeah. that thing though. Is yeah. that, you know, when you've got centralised in a row yeah. to get that balance, sometimes the only option is to put the telly above the fireplace. I know, I know. It just challenges it me, does, though. Because yes. I think it just takes away from the, the beauty, beauty yeah, of it. absolutely. Anyway, that's right. Well, you can't be just watch something on your phone. Well, you'd think so these days. <laughs> iPad. Here <laughs> you go. Here you go. You have that in your lap and then have your beautiful fireplace. There, there. we go. Easy. All sorted. Yeah. <laughs>